To understand the memory capacity of the human brain, we must first grasp the fundamentals. Human memory is divided into three primary types, sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Sensory memory acts as a brief buffer for stimuli received through our senses. It holds information for mere seconds, just long enough for our brain to process it. Short-term memory, often referred to as working memory, retains information for a short duration, typically around 20 to 30 seconds. This is the memory you use when recalling a phone number just long enough to dial it. Long-term memory, our primary focus today, is where the brain stores information over extended periods. This is where we keep our knowledge, experiences, and skills, essentially the library of our lives. Measuring the brain's memory capacity is not as straightforward as measuring a computer storage. Some researchers estimate that the human brain can store up to 2.5 petabytes of information, equivalent to 2.5 million gigabytes or about 3 million hours of TV shows. But how do we arrive at such a figure? This estimation stems from the sheer number of neurons and synapses in our brain. The human brain consists of approximately 86 billion neurons, each capable of forming thousands of synaptic connections. These synapses are the key to memory storage, enabling complex networks of information. However, the true capacity of our brain is influenced by how efficiently it processes, stores, and retrieves information, rather than merely the amount of data it can hold. Long-term memory itself is divided into explicit and implicit memory. Explicit memory, or declarative memory, involves the conscious recall of information, such as facts and events. This includes semantic memory, which deals with general knowledge, and episodic memory, which relates to personal experiences. Implicit memory, or non-declarative memory, is unconscious and includes procedural memory, which helps us perform tasks like riding a bike or playing an instrument without actively thinking about them. Memory involves three crucial processes, encoding, storage, and retrieval. Encoding is the process of converting sensory input into a form that can be stored in the brain, which can be visual, auditory, or semantic. Storage is the maintenance of encoded information over time. Unlike a computer, where data is stored in specific locations, our memories are distributed across networks of neurons. Retrieval is accessing and bringing stored information into conscious awareness. This process can be influenced by various factors, including context, emotional state, and the strength of the original encoding. Several factors impact the capacity and efficiency of human memory. Age, health, and lifestyle choices play significant roles. A healthy diet, regular physical activity, and mental exercises can enhance memory function. Sleep is also vital for memory consolidation. During sleep, the brain processes and strengthens the information gathered throughout the day, facilitating long-term storage and recall. Despite its remarkable capacity, human memory has its limits. Forgetting is a natural part of memory, often caused by decay, interference, or retrieval failure. Forgetting can be beneficial, helping us manage and prioritize the immense amount of information we encounter daily. Additionally, memory distortion, where recollections are altered or influenced, highlights the complex and sometimes unreliable nature of memory. While we cannot fundamentally change the brain's capacity, we can adopt strategies to enhance memory function. Techniques such as mnemonic devices, visualization, and association can improve recall. Engaging in activities that challenge the brain, like puzzles, reading, or learning new skills, can also strengthen memory. Social interactions and maintaining a positive outlook contribute to a healthy brain and memory function.